The rain didn't stop thousands marching across tribal districts in Manipur, demanding a separate state. There's been violence and ethnic tension since May, but a video of two women from the minority Kuki community being sexually assaulted and paraded naked has led to a breaking point. Our villages have been continuously being attacked by the Métis armed groups and killing happen every now and then. So uh, it, the situation is far from uh, normal. Two Kuki uh, Zo women were paraded naked uh, by the Métis mob and were uh, raped by the Métis mobs. In another Kuki district, during a temporary shutdown, the writing was on the wall. The Kukis say it's impossible to live with the majority Métis after their properties were looted and they've been driven from their homes. Métis protesters countered the Kuki demonstrations by calling for a unified Manipur. They ask for separate, separate homeland. It clearly shows that they are foreigners. We stand for the integrity of Manipur. And why should they ask for the separate homeland? If they want to, they want separate homeland, then they should go to their home where they came from. The troubles began after a court recommended the majority Métis get the same extended benefits enjoyed by the minority Kukis. These are tense times in this region. Kuki men have traded their jobs for bunker positions to guard a frontline village which borders a Métis area. We are fighting for a cause and if that cause is not met, I think we are not going to step back. We are going to guard our land, our forefather land, our ancestral land. In turn, Manipur police personnel and paramilitary forces watch over these farmers in Meiti areas. This conflict has affected our family's finances and health. There's a shortage of food. Children's education is suffering. After all, we are all daily wagers. More than 150 people, mostly minorities, have been killed and thousands displayed since earlier this year. While curfew restrictions have been relaxed in some areas, internet ban remains in force. Umikul Sum Sharif, Al Jazeera.